Hello, and welcome to my introduction of my journey in the game Forts. Welcome y'all, hope you're doing well. In this video, I will explain basically my entire journey in Forts, from the point where I was new to the game, and how I became a pro. So before we begin, this video is sponsored by... Just kidding. Did I get ya? <laughs> so basically, the first most basic and relevant question is, when did I start playing forts, and how did I get into forts? Well, I guess that's two questions. We will need to look back in 2018. I was gifted the game forts. Well, firstly, I was suggested this game called forts by one of my old friends, and I'll just I'll just call him. JTM. JTM was a friend of mine I used to be with for ages. So it was in June, I believe, June 2018, I was gifted the game Forts by my friend JTM. I thought that was very generous, so if you're hearing this, thank you very much. I'm still thankful. So the very first time I played Forts, I recorded my first ever Forts video. And um, <laughs> I've watched this a few times. Uh, it's, it's quite interesting. Back then, I, used to, I had an obsession with towers. I, I don't know why. And by the way, if you want to check out my very first Forts video, uh, it'll be a link in the description. But I'm going to be editing in a lot of scenes from like all, all my older Forts videos and then across the years and then up till now recently. So you'll get an idea. So, I completely fortified before I do. How do I get the resources faster? Oh, that's what you did tell me. Is it... Yeah, you upgrade, you upgrade stuff. And make more of them. Oh, right. As you can see, I built a tower. I was obsessed with building towers in this game. Alright, you can you can see that I'm deleting diagonal nodes or braces. My turbines aren't working properly. I'm just building up. Not caring about the core, placing every single weapon exposed in all my technology. Yeah. Obviously I didn't know what I was doing back then. I was like, I'm gonna create this tower and stare down my opponent with all that I've built. And then, as it happens to many new players of the game, I died due to the fires on my core that I wasn't aware of. I was just hearing all these alarms going off and like, Ah, uh, everything's fine, I'm, I'm satisfied with it, I'm used to it. And then boom. <laughs> yeah. What you need is a big cannon, dude. Hey, JD! Oh! Oh, no. oh. <laughs> That's really fun. So in the second match, uh, I didn't show this at all, but I remember I listened to myself. Uh, I said something about the campaign. I think I tried playing one of the levels in the campaign, but I didn't actually complete it. I played one of the levels. I'm like, I learned one thing from the campaign. And it was using an AP sniper to snipe anything behind one door. I'm like, this is such an epic idea. I'm going to use it against my opponent. <laughs> but hey, at least in that second match, I did win it. <laughs> so from then on, I basically just had fun playing the game, you know. I played the way I wanted to, you know. I, I, I just, I just grew up with the game just by playing it. I didn't have anyone instruct me. I didn't try to campaign. Well, I did one level, but that was it. I didn't try any strategies. I'm just like, I'll just have fun. And I think that's a good way to get into forts, you know. I suppose I could have tried to campaign earlier during those times. Gee. JD's the top one. Nah, you don't know. You always do the uh, back bracing up top. I Wait. know it's you. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh! Oh, oh 
damn it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> My teammate actually did something. Bit of fun. So yeah, I just played with friends and then we tried this mod where we get infinite resources and uh, you know, I built all these towers of weapons around and caused the base to collapse. Why are you building stuff there? Yeah, because you want to build stuff. Oh, what is this? This was free shit! GTF! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> what have you guys done? GTM half the okay. shit is flashing red. I don't think you like that. I'm, I'm gonna get the, the strongest metal in the game. It's coated at a bottom part. GTM, <laughs> <laughs> good job of making this from that point on, I basically met new people from like the Forts community. Yeah, there's a lot of people there. I'm just glad I met you know, some of the people that are like friendly, you know, if you know what I mean. I had no, I, I didn't have any criticisms back then, or at least not yet. Yeah, I met these two guys. One of them was uh, Joe Apocalypse, you know. Joe Apocalypse uh, uh, co-host. Uh, a lot of my tournaments, my Forts tournaments. And I believe he helped me out of Forts uh, quite a bit, you know, getting from like... He got me out of being new to like, becoming an average player. So what does better recollectors and 100% reclaim mean? See, um, it means that you get more metal per second per mine. Oh, and wow. more energy per turbine. Alright, we have half cost firing, so if you have anything that you don't have the economy for yet, now's the time to fire it. Okay. Uh, my laser is a little limited now, but it's good. Die! Nice. Like butter. He used these types of base designs where it's not really used all the time now today, but it gave me an idea of what to do, you know? Eventually, I get an achievement, but I was basically helped and observed the entire time. I managed to win a 3v1. 21 videos in, I managed to get a victory of a 3v1 for the first time. So me versus three players. I will still remember this match. Yeah, I was just given a few instructions, a bit, a bit of helpful advice, how to defend myself, and yeah, it was fun. I'm gonna do the dumbest thing ever and make a cannon right- OH MY- <laughs> Fuck you. Really? Really? It's a 1v3 now, how are we gonna win? <laughs> <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> you fighting is not gonna let us win. That's just me for my bloody self. You destroyed my new- <laughs> With the cannon. Yeah, and you destroyed my entire base. <laughs> You've got too many shields. Are you yeah. actually gonna <laughs> win a 3v1? Well, I, did, I did say I was good though. I did say. Well, to be fair, they should be firing way more than what they are. They are <laughs> incredibly delayed. <laughs> so, uh, later on, I find this mod known as. The Tenuous Mods. When I started using the Tenuous Mod, it was fun because it added a whole bunch of different things. Now, of course, it didn't, probably didn't in, uh, improve my skill that much, but having just a little bit extra there, you know, have the extra bit of fun, you know. And since it was still basically a long time ago, I don't remember everything. Yeah, and then eventually I met the creator of Tenuous Mods. I think, it, I think it's either called Gen, General Chan or, or his name is Tenya. Yeah, he, he's fun. He's got that type of laugh, you know. You can call me JD, by the way. Hmm? You can call me JD. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't have any energy at all. Why? I don't look at my base. <laughs> <laughs> And I think, as you're looking through the footage I'm editing in, you, you see that my base has, like, gotten better across the videos. And, and by the way, I'm putting, I'm putting these all in order, you know? So I think I might 
like put a like a type of date on the, on the, on the left side or right side. I don't know. You'll, you'll see it somewhere, I think. It will show you the time, you know, when I was playing and how long it's been, you know. Oh no! I told you to get right up the top gun. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. I want you. So as I'm improving in one step at a time, you know, I'm 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 usually playing vanilla and and tenuous mod a lot. Tenuous mod was the mod I used the most. Okay, so viewers who hate the sound or my rattling of the fan, well guess what I got now? Vacuum cleaner? Yeah! It's not a vacuum cleaner, it's another fan! And then I eventually started adapting to these different players in terms of skill. Fuck. Yes, I can launch now! Oh! Yes, wow. yes, yes! Launching! Just... It won't hit, trust me, it won't hit. <laughs> oh my god! Dude! Yeah, I'll, I'll, ta I'll take everything I just said. I'll take it back. <laughs> and so I didn't really have good thumbnails, you know. I just, I just, when I was doing the YouTube channel in 2018 or this channel, I wasn't taking the whole titles and thumbnails seriously. Well, there were nothing like what I do now. Death from above. Oh! Please be cautious of your shield. Oh! <laughs> I'm so I oh. need I needed them there I needed them there. Like Just that. do all those braces up. Oh, uh, yeah I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's Please. not gonna work. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna put middle. Though. I'm gonna put middle there. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm put some shields there. And then eventually, um, when I started making some better thumbnails. And I was becoming a better player. I had uh, started making videos with Synergy Gaming TV. Moving to the live stream, you're muted, dude. Moving to the live stream. Hey. You're muted, dude. There we are. What's up, buddy? Oh, good. What about you? I you know. I'm figuring to come back and try some uh, try some forts. Well, that's cool. I didn't even notice uh, forts added this new button where you could see the the icons way bigger. If you notice that? Yeah, that, that's what I was talking about. When you hit Q, oh. but it's supposed to close. It's supposed to close your doors. Oh, they both missed. Got a hit! Yes! Oh, the warhead went straight through the portal and came out the back of his base, and it collapsed. So this was now at the point where I'm constantly fighting new people to play forts with, uh, including streamers. So the idea of creating forts content was becoming more convincing. Like, it's becoming more of known of me to do that, because it was easy, and basically most of my friends, I had, you know, basically had the game, so I just recorded so much that some videos were over like an hour long. Well, what's with you and all the cheap strategies? I, I didn't get this, I, I didn't come up with You gravitated that. right to the man that coined it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Accelerate to death! Damn. <laughs> oh yeah! In September 2019, I noticed General Tenya Chun was going to create a Tenya's Mod tournament along with Synergy Gaming TV to help cast. So I decided to participate and I had some fun. Oh, you will always hang on, but <laughs> the oh, question my. Is where space is. Oh my! And the ropes are on fire! And he's firing oh, some more. He missed. <laughs> Shooting for the moon. Shooting for the moon and rockets and fire into destruction. Oh, GG. G G G D E. Bring it home the win. It's gone this way, Michael. G D E's got to get some wood above this Gatling, or it's gone. Oh, G D E, outplayed by the Zerlster. I think oh, he was. Oh, 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 oh man! Oh, oh 
What? What? GG! GG! Wow! What an outcome! I thought for sure JDE was gonna bite the bullet on that one, and he comes out. The funny thing is, he lost even a scuttle. Wow! During the time the Australian bushfires rampaged, as you can see, the developers donated to the firefighting services, as seen on this uh, temporary main menu screen. So hey, respect to the developers for that. And yeah, those those bushfires, they were crazy. Oh, that's not gonna... <laughs> oh, well... No, 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 no! <laughs> no! No! Oh, no! <laughs> Well, maybe they'll send Ross in instead. Maybe they'll help them. No, Sulka, Craig Gunn is yes. coming. Come around. Craig Gunn. Oh, no, 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 Sulka! Yeah, I think at that point, uh, I think I became like a decent uh, leveled player in terms of skill. You know, I had a certain strategy. I, was, I, didn't, I wasn't lacking. I became more of a solid player, you know, making less and less mistakes. Of course, every player still makes mistakes, you know. I'm talking like able to play against like, you know, mid-level players. No! Oh! <laughs> to be honest, I really did not think that was gonna work. What happened? Oh my gosh. You can stop making me so Fire! Up. Oh my god! I clicked <laughs> and it didn't fire! <laughs> I clicked it! Are you serious? Uh, I want to mention too that I had, I had created 11 tournaments, 11 forts tournaments. I just thought it would be fun to create a tournament, you know, JD's forts tournament. <laughs> yeah, they were fun, but uh, I don't do this anymore because it's just a lot of hard work and not everyone, everyone was uh, cooperating. So yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, oh no. Wow. Oh. Why, is this, why is this a map we're doing? <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> you can drop the barrels and they just the corks. Why is this Wait, a doesn't... tournament map? No, it doesn't. It doesn't just. I told them it was a tournament. Oh no! What the hell? What? Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, Wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. What? okay. Do you want to what? count that as a win? We're not. What? We're not counting that map. <laughs> we're, we're not counting, counting that, that map. Wrong. What were you thinking? And then I started using the trains mod made by my good friend Alex. Which is fun. You get to launch trains at each other. <laughs> Let's. Let's fucking go. They've got a three tier three trains coming out. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> and then I became better at rushing technology when I needed. Yeah, better base design. Okay, Alex, watch this. Now it begins. The journey of hell. <laughs> oh, stop the core, stop the core! Yes! Oh. I sniped it! <laughs> and then at one point, I started playing against like a 2v1 against my friends to see how good was I. Well, basically challenging myself. Yeah, of course, I lost most matches, but hey, I was at the point where I was able to 2v1. Wait, what? I thought I had a... Yes! Oh, I got fuck. it! Yes! Yes, oh, yes, yes, fuck! fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. My laser was down. Oh. I started playing the Black Gold campaign on hard difficulty. Let's begin, shall we? So starting off on Black Gold on hard difficulty. Here we go. Begin. Yeah, I'm not new to the game, so I don't need the instructions. Well, I think it was the... No, 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 I, I started playing the High Seas campaign on normal difficulty, but that was when I was gifted High Seas from the developers, or given access, which I still appreciate. So I started playing the High Seas campaign on normal difficulty. So yeah, a while from that, that's when I started playing the Forts Black Hole campaign, or well, all the campaigns on hard difficulty. So, the Black Gold and Moonshot in the High Seas campaign. But, uh, getting all achievements as well. And I did all those. 
Uh, there weren't exactly walkthroughs, but kind of next best place, you know, because I made mistakes, I had to restart a lot, so. Um, so all the links to all the different Forts content will be in the description. If you want to see me play the campaign or, or ranked and all that. I don't need to be reminded of Sinking Nemo. No, 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 no! Repair it! You dumb AI, you're supposed to be hard difficulty! These AIs, they're supposed to be difficult. Hey, I did it. Now, I think when I started the Black Gold campaign, I also started doing ranked as well. Yeah, because I thought it was good enough and uh, it could like seriously help me a lot, and, and that's what it did, you know. <laughs> and when I was playing ranked, it was basically at that point where I started meeting like pro players from the Forts community, and you know that they it was <laughs> they had shown me like how to build a proper pro base, you know. Well, basically one of them uh, called Vortex, you know, he showed me how to make this pro build, as you'll see, like an actual pro base with back turbines. You can't, then you need to sell it again and build it higher. It needs to be basically as high as it can go. Oh, I did it! Okay. Oh, finally! Yeah, that's that's pristinely stable. That's pen and tech now. But now I can't... I can get to the other one. It's less of a fight and more of a will. Yes. Also, Whoa! How is that not collapsing right now? It's completely... Built on forlongs. I'm totally dumb. <laughs> I'm talking about where your core is, Vortex. What no. is that? That should have collapsed. I don't know. I just wanted to angle it up a bit more. Okay, okay like here we go. Now I have to receive that. Let's go, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Easy dog. <laughs> the remaining. So it was at that point where I got really good at the game. I had a lot of hours anyway. I think I had like 900 at the time. But just having all that experience and then just learning the pro tactics, it wasn't difficult. I was able to adapt very easily. Oh my god. Nuked. Mm. Uh, they're in my how would I No! Okay, so uh, he successfully played us. Uh, my first ever pro base. It has destroyed! I take back everything. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Vortex, for participating and showing me how to become a pro. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, don't quote me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then came the idea of what was I going to do for episode 200. Then I thought, oh, I'll just pick something out of the list that seems to be the most fun that gets the most views. Now that the viewers decide with a vault on the community post. But then I had one idea in mind, and it was an epic idea, and I think you'll know what it is. It was Brusky versus seven new players. And uh, I'm not doing this idea again. This was just meant for fun. And when I made that post, it got the most votes. So I did it. I played against seven random players, trusting that they were new. And of course I lost, I didn't win a single one. I tried this four attempts, but I only posted two of the matches. It became one of my most viewed videos. And it was at the time where I was at the Christmas event, and I was using my headset mic. So the audio wasn't that great. I prefer using a Blue Yeti. I was thinking about using the uh, headset mic at the end of this year, but I didn't want to because I can't stand the audio. I'd rather use a Blue Yeti instead, because it sounds better, obviously. And I've been using this ever since I bought my old PC. So, six years now. If you want a microphone recommendation, get the Blue Yeti. So, nearing the start of 2023, I met these new friends called... Vedith, SJ Mod, and Slam Punk. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. Mate. Mate. <laughs> Mate. 
No! 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 <laughs> and who was that? Who <laughs> was that? I'm at 4 FPS. 3 FPS, it's getting worse. <laughs> 2. Oh my god. And my, my screen went black. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1 FPS. <laughs> Hey, Peter, you okay there? No, my screen is black. <laughs> can't see anything. <laughs> and of course, you know, there yeah, there are new friends to hang out on forts, so that's an example there where most of the people I met now is just related to forts, you know, if you know what I mean. And by the way, in case you will mention it, I do tend to use you know a lot. I'm gonna play the you know and say you know what. I guess took one out. Probably. Oh! That was JD weapon, I don't like that. <laughs> JD okay, weapon. no more gunners. <laughs> he might die this time. And then you play. Hey! hey. Oh, we, you know? Find it for the win, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I did it, you know. Okay, the map is over. Stop it with you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, now we can stop, you know. Oh, you even named the lobby? What? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, many people comment about the laugh that I have. You see, I kind of already had that from 2018, and I have a deep voice. So it's easy for me. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to mention that. Uh, I mean, I don't use it intentionally. It's just like, it's by nature of me to use it. You see, I received a comment on one of my older Forts videos. I think it was in 2019. Alpha Stigma comments, Your laugh actually reminds me of Dr. Evil from Mustard Powers. <laughs> Now, I haven't seen Austin Powers, but I know it's a comedy type of series. But I'm thinking of watching it, just to see what it's like. So, I didn't really have the idea to be like any sort of villain, but my friends usually called me that. And my basic inspiration, just like laugh and play with friends and play games, it really came from a YouTuber called MyScrim. Uh, M-U-Y-S-K-E-R-M. He's basically a friend of Markiplier. I have like the villainistic version of his laugh, pretty much because I have a deep voice. <laughs> yes! <Nice>. Yes! <laughs> Eventually, in May 2023, I begin using the Land Cruisers mod made by Xeps. This mod would allow you to move your forts on wheels. I never thought of that concept. <laughs> that was so cool! When I got to Halloween, I created the idea of Brisky versus two new players, three new players, and four, five, six, seven, you know. Around December 2023, I think I have reached my highest peak ever in terms of skill. And what I mean by that is that I don't think I can improve from where I'm at. Well, in terms of interest, I'll say that. I feel like I've uh, learnt enough of this game to be a pro. Many players consider me a pro, and many don't. I get that. I am not a perfect player. I make mistakes. I'm only good at doing one thing at a time. Forts was not my main focus when it comes to doing YouTube. However, I could just commit everything to that instead, but I choose not to. You know, as some viewers try to claim that since most of my videos this year has been just Forts content, they imply that means I'm basically a Forts YouTuber. However, I will admit that my channel does look like a Forts channel. There's no doubt about that. It was my fault that I let this happen. It was just very easy to record Forts videos because most of my friends, you know, I hang out with, 
we always went on forts. And because we had such fun times, you know, I decided just to record that. You know, it's good opportunities. Then it came the 9th of December. I played against Slam Punk in three rounds to see who would win. Best three. I won the second round and Slam Punk won the other two. By the way, Slam Punk, thanks again for allowing us to do this. It was fun. And I think there's a lot of misunderstanding here. I mentioned that I wanted to quit forts, and people have taken that as in I would do that entirely, which means no more forts videos. No, I didn't state that correctly. What I meant was I'm ending my commitment to forts, as in, which would basically mean that I would not be playing ranked anymore, I wouldn't be doing any more live streams, I wouldn't be doing any more special events related to forts. It would just basically be me and some friends playing some forts, having fun and laughing and all that. Like it was in 2018, originally. You know, when I first came to YouTube, it wasn't my sole intention to basically be like a younger version of Incursus, as some people have claimed. Like, originally, when I was introduced to forts, it was just like, okay, it's very fun, I'll play this. You know, however, if the developers, Earthwork Games, if they release another campaign for Forts, I will play it. No problem. You know, for an example, every time I'm playing like in a serious match or something, whether I'm just having fun or not, I'm always told that I must do better or any itty bitty mistake I do, it can't be tolerated. It's like I'm just sick of the judgment. It's almost as if just because I'm a pro, they expect me to start participating in the official forts tournaments and they forget that people just want to play for fun, you know? I've seen the way they act against new players, so I don't care if I'm not playing perfectly. It's a video game and you're supposed to have fun. And if you have a problem with that, well, that's not my problem. You have just forgotten that YouTubers have real lives and sometimes they need breaks. So before this video ends, I'd like to thank everyone that's participated in my videos. Yeah, all the viewers, followers, subscribers, all my friends. I also want to thank the developers for uh, supporting me. And thank you all for enjoying my uh, forts videos. It has been fun making them, but I'll still make them. I'm still going to make forts videos. I'm just going to do what I want to do, alright? Anyway, sometimes we just need to move on. So thank you everyone for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed my journey in forts into perspective. This video, I estimate it took at least five weeks to edit, to make. Uh, it's first not easy. So I appreciate it if you left a like and uh, left a comment uh, let me know what you think. And I shall see you next time in another video. So until then, have a good day.